Welcome to another Still Speaks video. We got an exciting 1v1 Aeon versus Aeon on open palms. It's it's a banger. So anyhow, we got the eco viewer. We got the players' colors, their names, their research, research per minute, mass, mass per second, energy, and energy per second. That eco viewer is made by Alpha Hex. Be sure to subscribe to him. It'll, it is worth your time. So let's get into it. We got the first player in the north. We got Coupe de Gras. Coupe de Gras, whatever. Coupe de Gras. Coupe de Gras. I think that's the correct way of saying it. But I'm not even going to worry about that name. I'm going to call him what I know him as. Muggin Ra. Muggin Ra is spawning in as the red Aeon Commander. Dropping down a whole bunch of eco. He's going double research station against someone like Roxban. Good luck, buddy. And then we got Roxban spawning in as the yellow Aeon Commander dropping down a triple land factory opener. By the way, Roxban has a YouTube channel. Click the link down below to subscribe to him and check out his videos. He posts at least two a week that I've noticed so far. At least two. If you want to get good at this game, check him out he plays you could see from his perspective and it's quite fun to watch i've watched many of them definitely worth your time so yeah another guy named awasi has an amazing youtube channel same concept from his perspective and they both rocksband and awasi are amazing so definitely subscribe to them if you want to get good at this game and same with Iron Commander, same concept. But uh, exciting news while we're watching these guys set up the game, their match. We are getting a new map. A brand new community made map. Alpha Hex has showed me many, many photos of it as it goes. He said I could show it to you. But then he said, ah, maybe, maybe not. So I decided not to show it to you. You're going to see it when it comes out. I don't want to put any pressure on the map makers. Because, well, perfection takes time, guys. Like, maps like Thunder Pass, that is a banger, guys. That is one of the best maps I have seen made by the community. Of course, there's a escarpment, um... There's a lot of them. Open pines. <laughs> There's a whole lot of them. So anyhow, we see Mug and Ra doing this tricky thing with his engineer. Of course, you, these engineers have a bit of an, a radar suite. So this guy is seeing all the things. Everything. Just doing a StarCraft II scout with a drone. You know, don't mind me. Hello, fellow Aeon. Wow, is he going to get away? Is he going to sa- I would sack cap that. That'd be just the funniest thing ever. Is he going to get- Oh, he's going to sack cap it. Is he going to get it? No, there's no way. He's going to die. And he's- And he's gone. Get that delicious yummy mass. That delicious yummy mass. That mass, yo. I love how the trees get knocked down in this game, too. So, almost, almost. So we got Mug and Raw with a double research station and a double land factory opener. Not expanding aggressively at all. Not at all. I think I put the research in wrong. No, I did not. It's above six, so he's got a lot of research and as you can see it's red for the energy because that means it's below 1000 you get their energy's fine honestly it's completely a-okay but like a thousand energy during the mid to late gain is really what you want to really teleport around especially for aeon the mass rock span could use another factory or something yeah he's floating a little bit but not too much He's got plus 10 mass because he's expanding, as you can see. 
He's deciding to go double research station. He's floating mass. Once it's over 300, it turns red to let you know. Wants to catch up on that research game. He's going to be ahead in pretty much all metrics. Except for energy. So, an expansion in back for Rockspin. Pretty smart. I... I Kind of concerned for the lack of expansions for Mug and Raw. Mug and Raw is now expanding it back after I said that. Isn't that wonderful how things go? But it is what it is. So, this is an Aeon radar. It's way in back, but I think Mug and Raw was expecting to be attacked. That's why it's right there, because he was ex probably expecting a retaliation for the engineer going into. Rockspan space and knock it down some trees. That'd make me mad. I wouldn't be happy with that. So two brave tanks. Bravely running away. <laughs> no, I mean, they're completely outnumbered. It's not worth it. So Rockspan still has this engineer on pause. Nope. Of course, just as I said it, it starts to build. Isn't that, isn't that fun? That's fun. So, Mug and Raw is like, he's down by four mass a second. That's, he's catching up here. He's probably going to be down by, well, I think Rockspan's going to keep building. Now even Rockspan's up on energy per second. They have the same research per second. Yeah, Rockspan, Rockspan's mass per second keeps going up. He's got six on him, now five on him. It's a lot. Sorry for the squeaking. My chair over the years has grown to squeak. I remember when I first got it back in 2014, when I really kind of first started this channel... It didn't squeak, but now it's squeak. So you're going to hear it in the mic. It's a good microphone. It is what it is. So as you know, there's a whole bunch of energy being built. That's Aeon, of course. Comment down below if you know why there's a lot of energy being thrown around. I probably already told you the answer already. But, you know, I will tell you the answer in a moment. But... Lots of energy. Very, very, very useful. Point defense. Do not understand why that's there, but I think Rockspan's scared that he's going to get attacked. Just like Rug and, Mug and Raw built a premature radar. He's got that... He's got a radar on his factory. I think it's to, so he could see better. That does increase the sight of the factory. And a shield on this factory. Yeah, they're expecting to get attacked right now. This area, meanwhile, has no defense whatsoever. A Boda Boom here. We don't want that in front. You do not want that Boda Boom in front. You lose that Boda Boom, you lose a great deal of health. What, 450 health about? Maybe? I don't know. I think the t base tanks are at 1,500 health, but with the Boda Boom, they go up to 1,950. Yeah, that's 450. That's a lot of health. So these Boda Booms in front, if they die... Oh, that... Okay. So the answer is why there's a lot of energy being built. They're Aeon. They love to teleport. Teleporting's their game. Teleporting costs a decent amount of energy per time you do it. If you want to spam it, you got to have the energy reserves to do it. And Mug and Raw has it. Mug and Raw is riggedy wrecking that the place, destroying a factory. Will a core mass extractor go down? If Mug and Raw could get, oh, he's teleporting now. I would have stuck around and got that one, at least one core mass. But killing a factory before it's finished being built, that's a big win because Rockspan had to pay for that. So that is minus. 200 200 mass more than 200 like 220 right out of the gate 
Point defense, trying to put some work in. It's only one point defense, though. It can only do so much against this type of onslaught. Okay, that mass extractor's done. Oh, not the engineer! Guess that's payback, right? That's gonna happen. More research going down. I think Roxban needs factories. Okay, teleporting. Where is Roxban's boat? Oh, there's his boat a boom. I think I just saw boat a boom die for Mug and Raw. Mug and Raw. 13, 15. Look at all the health those guys have. They have training. Yeah, they have to have some form of training on them. Or veterancy. Yeah, it looks like it might be veterancy. Yeah, this tank blob shooting at each other. Nothing really amazing to see here. I'm just kidding. This is great. Point defense for Roxban doing some work. Yeah, Mug and Raw's tanks are just better pound for pound right now. Oh no! Not again! Oh, Roxban lost a factory. And there was no. Dude, that was horrible. And there's no wreckage for him to reclaim. What an absolute nightmare. Teleporting around, bait, trying to bait each other out. That factory loss was a nightmare. But they're both floating mass. Why is Mug and Raw floating mass? He needs to build stuff. More factories to follow up. Yeah, more factories, please. Build an expansion, please. That is over a thousand mass. Yeah, they're too busy microwing. I get it. They're too busy teleporting around. I get it. I get it. But you gotta use that mass because each second that that mass isn't being put to good use is a second your opponent could put theirs to good use. And Roxban has, looks like... Four factories with a fifth one queued up. And wow, looks like Mug and Raw is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, six right now, seven on the way. Well, five now, seven on the way. There we go. That's a better, more accurate number. Looks like that mass is evening out over here. Rockspan only has a plus one on Mug and Raw. I don't know why this one isn't capped. That's an easy one to defend. And now Rockspan is behind in the mass game. That that's gotta that's gotta hurt. Because these are like mostly vetted up. That's a lot of veterancy right there. And there's shields on Rockspan's tanks. I would not take these engagements right now. At least kill the engineer. Nice teleport of that engineer. Getting that engineer out of there. Very good. Now that was a good move. Taking out that mass extractor before it could be a mass extractor. Another big win. Roxban keeps losing units before they could even be built. Wow, Coupe de Gras is ahead, well, aka Mug and Raw, is ahead on mass by 17. You don't want to get in that point defense range. Now Mug and Raw has shields on his tank boys.
four research stations from four. Well, they both have four research stations, it looks like. Wow. Very similar builds. You're going to have... It's going to be quite the back and forth. Like, similar builds. It's going to be who's more aggressive and who could outplay the other. Muggenroth finally built the radar up forward. It looks like Roxban does not have his radar there anymore. Where is Roxban's radar? Does he have a radar at all? No way. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, Roxban has a radar. That was kind of scary. But no pro is going to walk around without a radar. That's just that's just crazy. Yep, so if you notice, Mug and Ra's tanks are blobbing up quite a bit. Versus Aeon, blob up like that. I think it's you hold Alt or Control. Yeah, you hold Alt and your units will will blog, blob up if you click in the middle of them. And that means there's more of them shooting at your opponent because they're closer together. This engineer was sucking up delicious yummy mass. That Masio can't find... A morsel can't find a crumb of, ma of mass. Very sad day indeed for that engineer. He's going to get some mass, probably. Well, that guy's getting bullied. What's that engineer do? Oh, there he goes. Sucking up the delicious yummy yum, yum, ass. That mass, yo. You love to see that type of stuff. For real. So yeah, Mug and Raw has better control of his units at this point. You can see that more units are firing than his opponents. Yeah, I think both players have training four. Probably both chrome upgrades. Aeon units have so much health with those Boda Booms. It's wild. Rock Span got damaged, so that's gonna make his tanks hit hard. Generally, you want to teleport your units out of combat. But I've noticed these players have been teleporting units in combat as he teleports out of combat, making my argument invalid. No, but against Aeon, you want to teleport into con combat as well. I mean, against any faction, really, except for Cybern, because they have unit detonate and structure detonate. So you got to be careful with your teleportations. But here, it don't matter. You're okay. Just don't... Teleport in the middle of a point defense forest. That would be really bad if you did. Now I like this. Mug and Raw is expanding. Needs to spend more mass. Hands down. I like that Rock Span has expanded. Yeah, like I said, they, uh, they're doing a decent amount of damage to each other. Big armies, though, but they're getting reinforced fairly quickly with the upgrades that bo both Aeon players took. A factory right there for Roxban. A great idea, really. Need to have that area defended. Expansions are crucial at this stage in the game. 
Aeon versus Aeon, it's really going to be who could out-teleport the other. And who could out-produce the other. Man, it's Yenzu Carnage right now. It looks like Roxban is taking taking control over here. Yep. Tanks getting melted. Roxban teleported for reinforce. Pretty good. Engineer being idle, not good, not excellent whatsoever. Probably should make that factory build. Hmm. Looks like Mugamra is not letting up on the attacks. It is like not. It's been non-stop for the past few moment, few minutes. This, the beginning was a bit slow, but this is going to get more and more exciting. Nice teleport. That was a great target. But here comes Rockspan with his teleports. Not every unit, so this is a big disadvantage. That's a huge win for Mug and Raw right here. Giant win. Mugamra's opponent's economy still remains strong. Roxban's economy is 32 plus to Rox uh, to Mugamra's 29. Wow. Wow! Teleporting more. Teleportation is wild. I know I said that in the last video, but teleporting really, truly is wild. Let me guess. Mug and Ra's base is getting... No, not yet. Or not at all. What is this? No way. An experimental gantry? Mm-mm. Not Aeon experimentals. Don't... Do not want... Ooh, once this goes down, this is going to be a big win. That was like four mass extractors. And now, Mug and Rot is firmly ahead in mass per second. Firmly ahead. Now, Mug and Rot, all has to do is keep his units alive. Now that is really good micro. You guys notice how both teams split their armies? This team over here is getting utterly annihilated. It's done. It's gone. And Roxban lost his entire army. I mean, Mugan Raw lost his entire army. Not good. Just kidding. It's right here. It's right here. Now I'm inter interested to know what does Mug and Raw have cooking. That's actually a great choice. I would never choose the Urchu now, aka the snail, but a Universal Galac Colossi. That's pretty good. I like that idea. Those are big and nasty. I'll tell you what. These games must be exhausting. Like. Playing against a super high tiered player like this has to make the, the players tired. Like, there's no doubt. Teleporting a single unit. Coop the Garage, a aka Mug and Raw, retreating. That Universal Colossi is more than halfway done. For some reason, 
Rockspan has paused his factories. Nope, just kidding. He's got them unpaused. It looks like he needs mass. He's hurting. He's hurting. Is he? Is he though? Is he? He's got all that delicious yummy me mass. That mass, yo. He's not hurting. Rockspan's gonna recover and rebuild. Uh oh! A loading screen! <laughs> I'm kidding. Comment down below if you know that meme. That was years and years and years ago. But, um. Yeah. Uh oh! There's Universal Colossi here. Look at all its majestic beauty. Like, this thing is a well crafted experimental. I like it. And plus, when it walks, it goes boom, 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 boom. Love it. Loving it. I would just retreat my units and put this bad boy right in the center and let him do work. Because there ain't no way he's, they're going to get to it. Of course, you can't teleport quite as much. That's going to go down. Good, good shot. Wait till he sees. He might have a freak out teleport. Teleported behind it? That was a good move. Not just a good move. That was a great move. For real. Mug and Raw, a great good micro of his units. Really protecting that Universal Colossus. Really, really protecting it well. Mug and Raw losing factories. This is not an ideal situation for him whatsoever. Mug and Raw is in deep doo-doo, I must say. If you're hearing a buzzing, it's just because my buddy is calling me. It is about 11 at... It's 11 at night on the dot. And I'm over here like, what you calling for, buddy? I'm casting. This is an exciting moment in the cast. Why are you calling? So hopefully you don't hear that buzzing. But um, Mug and Raw is losing everything. That Galactic Universal Colossus is... Doing a great work. Great work protecting everything. But it's too darn slow. And I know Mug and Raw is reluctant to teleport away from it. Because as soon as he teleports away from it. These guys are going to be all over him. And it's going to be all she wrote for that, that Universal Col Colossus. That is so much pain. Those... Those mass extractors, those were, how many are left? One, one, one fully vetted mass extractor survived that. Can't, ooh, we can't afford to lose that either. Down to 11 mass, that is, ooh, that is, that is bad news. Rockspan just got teleport and teleport to, oh, probably for the ACU. Yep. Probably need that by now. When you see an army this big and nasty coming at you. Like, really? Look, look at that. Up, Those upgrades are so good. Is there a Boda Boom in this army anywhere? No, not a single Boda Boom. That's all tank. Oh, there's a Boda Boom. Gotta keep that one alive. Keep that unit alive, please. Smart to bunch up. Very smart to bunch up. Oh, no! Was that the bo- That was the Boda Boom! Oh, no! Now, that puts Mug and Raw at a severe disadvantage. Except for he's got that universal Colossi. Colossus. Yeah, they're gonna be focusing on that, so... Look at units melt. They're just melting. Yeah, nice teleport. Didn't do anything.
Gotta get a Boda Boom up there. But I don't think there's any Boda Booms for Rock Span either. They got aided. <laughs> they got aided. Eaten. Got murdered. Yeah, this needs to be used. Just use these guys. You know, I don't think Mug and Raw... I mean, I think Mug and Raw has what it takes to break through. I don't think Rockspan is going to be able to defend against this... This... Universal Colossi. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Look at how fast... Look at how fast that factory just drains in health. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta have to wait and die, I guess. I like how it picks up small units and just throws it. That's such a neat... That's such a neat detail. It's like a pull and smash, but... Not quite as pull and smashy. This kind of pull and throw. Or crush. Yeah, I like how the tank is just right in that GC's arm just to be thrown at that research station. This is going this is going nuts. I mean, if you look back at Mug and Ra's base, everything's ruined. Everything's ruined, but he's still floating mass somehow. He's not rebuilding. What is he doing? He's he's microwing. That's what he's doing. And you see all that mass Rockspan has? Why doesn't he build something? I'll tell you why. Because this thing's here. If he builds it, it's just going to get destroyed. There's nothing that could stop this but maybe air? Oh, well, this is nasty. This is... This is... This could kill Mug and Raw. The, oh, and Mug and Raw teleports away. Very smart. Has shields on his ACU. Probably the right thing to do right now. Building a bunch of research. Probably the right thing to do. Escape pod researched, definitely the right thing to do, especially at this point in the game. Look at the look at the bases. Absolutely annihilated. Just gone. Leveled. Flattened. This is Godzilla right here, guys, as far as I'm concerned. Well, there's only one air unit for Mug and Raw. Not super helpful. Uh-oh! Mug and Raw is getting surrounded. Is he going to teleport out? I think he is. He's going to get out of there. Taking a lot of damage. These are highly upgraded tanks. Do not want. If I were Mug and Rob, I'd start building factories right about here. I would just start building factories. And then start rebuilding mass extractors. I would just start rebuilding. That's what I would do. I would get a... I'd make a new army. Because this isn't going to live. I would just rebuild. Rebuild the factory right now. Do it. I'd rebuild the factory. Look at all that mass and energy though. How does Muggenra... Oh, Muggenra has all that energy right there, so... Double fisting Yenzus. See you later, Yenzus. Rebuild the factory, dude. Just do it. And radar, good. That's a good choice. But I'd get a factory up and running. Bunch of research, a bunch of point defense. That could actually help be the difference between life and life and death at this moment. Yeah, don't finish the radar. We don't need it. You're right. You're right, Mug and Rom. I'm kidding, of course. But build factories, man. Like, you have factories and your opponent doesn't?
I definitely, that's a good idea. Heal your ACU. Finish that. Good. Just build a factory. Just one or two. Energy being found. Probably, I would be building more energy at this point. Most definitely. Floating all this mass is bugging me. Watching both players float this mass is bugging me. I know why Roxpan is, because he's he's hiding. He's hiding. Mug and Raw has control over a lot of the map. Taking out mass extractors, that's good. But Mug and Raw could literally build a factory, get a couple engineers, and just rebuild a base. Get a base running right here. Force your opponent to come in and take it from you. Because if you don't destroy... I mean, if you don't use it, your opponent can... Well... If you're not using it and you die, what's the point of having it? You know? Gonna sit here and blap at this mass extractor. Not a bad choice. But I would rebuild a fact. I'd build a factory... Next to my opponent. Unless he's going to make a loyalty gun. That's why he's saving up. I don't know. This should be in the bag for Mug and Raw, to be honest. Does he have overcharge? You know, this is a plan. Roxban has a ridiculous amount of mass. He's finally starting to use it. He's using it on planes. Well, engineers at this moment, I think. But I would just rebuild. You gotta rebuild, dude. I like it. I like how it's pretty much a base trade scenario, but it ended up not being a base trade scenario. It's like they just destroyed each other's bases and left. Like, Roxban went home. Mug and Raw went home like twice. Just rebuild then. Rebuild. At least Mug and Raw should rebuild. But with what engineer? Well, the one he's building out of his factory? That he should have? This is a good move here. Get those, get these factories out of here. At this point, seven tanks could destroy stuff so fast because of how upgraded those are. 3,000 hit points, I think they're fully upgraded. There's shields on those planes, guys. Roxban did a tech switch. He's got shields on his planes. So if he gets flares, those, those, these anti-air towers aren't going to do much. I mean, Roxman's been left alone pretty much for a while, as ACU has been at least. I mean, look at all these, look at these, look at all these air factories. I mean, that's, that's going to build quite the army real fast. Now, if Mug and Raw could take out this land army quick, and an AA creep over, this could be good for him. Nice little overcharge. Too bad it was too late to save that at the air. Building another one, though. No ma- Okay. Maybe he shouldn't have rebuilt. Maybe that was bad advice. Okay. I admit it. Bad advice. Because you got this freaking Galactic Colossi floating around. Probably not good for your building's health. I don't know. 
Not even splitting. Oh, that was embarrassing. Oh. No. No. Painful to watch. That was a... And he lets it happen again. Split! Split your units! Hunker, Greer! Hunker! Oh, man! Comment down below if you know what that's from. <laughs> No! Why? At least he made an attempt at a split. Oh, Mugen Raw went from a po probable win to... This isn't looking very good. They are shields and flares on these guys. This isn't going to kill that. That's not enough anti-air. Is there anti-air? Okay, there's anti-air on the commander, too. Needs to build a bunch of anti-air towers if he's going to survive. Where are them anti-air towers? There, there they are. Wow, every single bombing run. Devastating. Needs more than one. That is so devastating. Yeah, at this point, anti-air towers are ineffective. They're literally ineffectual at this moment. Look at that. I would... You gotta just... Spam anti-air and not move. That is... Too... Please, buff A on air, everybody. Please, buff it. Make it better than this. Because I can't believe how little, how much, I'm kidding of course, I can't even make that joke with a straight face. Like, these units are almost invincible. Coupe de Gras is in danger. I'm in danger. Yeah, he can't ant he can't anti air his way out. Now that is smart. Look at Roxpan is doing. He is expanding. That's a good idea. That was a pretty good idea. Hunkered, that's pretty smart, but that's a lot of point defense, so safe. Oof. That's so much. Oh wow, the tanks come up behind and mop up the anti-air. Overcharge, he's gonna get him. He's got no anti-air. I think, uh, I think bro is cooked. <laughs> I think he's... Oh, where'd he go? What happened? Oh, now that! Rock span, you gotta applaud that. Escape pods out. There's nothing Mug and Rock has against this. But I love how Mug and Rock is playing it out. Does Muggenra have a heal? Oh wow, he's walking into a hell of... Oh wow, he... shields blink on. I think it's over, guys. 
Boom! Down goes Mug and Raw. That was a valiant fight, I gotta tell you. I would have rebuilt right here. I would have built on my opponent's stuff and used this stuff against him. That's what I would have done personally. But really, really well done. Really amazing. Quite an interesting fight. Teleports all over the place. Just insane to see all of that. I gotta tell you, it's, it's rare to see quite a long and crazy match. That was indeed a fun match to watch. In a Universal Colossus, I made an appearance. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. Of course, they're floating masks. They didn't have any factories. Still amazing players. Amazing game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Roxban, thank you for sending me this amazing replay. It was quite out of this world. Now, where's Roxban's ACU? Oh, did he... He put it in a place where I can't access it very well. Watch it be like right in front of my face and I just can't see it. Wow. Where is it? Huh. Well, can't find him. It's gonna have to live with it. I guess. Any of you guys, hope you enjoyed it. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, favorites, it helps me out, send a good replays, this still speaks at gmail.com, or do like Roxpan did, he joined the Supreme Commander 2 Discord server, you gotta do that, by the way, the link is in the description down, be down below, he uploaded this replay and added me, he, and he was patient, he, this, it took me over a month to cast this, he had this up there for a while, so, yeah, it, so that's how that goes. Or you could join the Supreme Committer to Discord server and direct message me. Just do one. You do more than one, I'll be confused and upset. And I won't like that. I won't like that at all. Please don't do that to me. Anyhow, yeah. You gotta join the Supreme Committer to Discord server. If you wanna play this game against people, with people, against people, whatever with people, that's how you do it. If you want to get some achievements done, that is how you do it. And if you wanna get brand new maps like Thunder Pass, or Open Pines, that that's the way to, where to go. Or the brand new one coming out that, well, or there's a, no one knows about, but I know a little bit about it. There's the Heart of Darkness also, I think that's what it's called. Well, you gotta check out these maps, they're wild. Anyhow, yeah. There's over 4,000 members, definitely be, become one of them. Q Alpha X is ad now. What? You still haven't joined the biggest Supreme Commander 2 Discord in the world with over 1,000? Uh, 2,000? You have General, Hall of Fame, all the YouTube channels, all the YouTube videos, streaming, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Ask for some help, post some memes, send some replays, find a game, dead chat. We even have a channel for all the Xbox Subcom 2 players. So what are you waiting for? Click the first link in the video description or just type Supreme Commander 2 in this thing that nobody will ever use. You should join now. Comment down below, say something nice about the players, about the game. Just say something nice, guys. We just need more kindness in this world. Definitely, definitely a needed thing. Because, well, here in the United States, politics are polarized and people are quite mean to each other about it. Why? There's no reason for it. Just, just be nice, okay? Anyhow, yeah, please be kind. If you like what I do and you want to support this channel, the Patreon page, click the link down below to get involved with that. A huge shout out, shout out to Alpha Hex, Iron Commander, Prelia Tornex, Akone, and Valor. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you for all that you have done and are continuing to do. And another big thank you to my Ko-Fi people. This is not a subscription service, or it could be, or you could just give me five bucks once and be done with it. I'd appreciate anything you could get you could give. Of course it's not necessary, but I would appreciate it. Whatever. You know. A big thank you to Dr. Pearl, Nuclear Pizza, 
and Wizard. You guys are awesome. And a gigantic, huge, huge, huge thank you to Colin300. You're an amazing guy. And I appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you want to support this channel, but you don't want to spend any money, I got you. There's ways to do it for absolutely free. Just watch these videos all the way through. Like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, comment. That way, the you it, that feeds the YouTube algorithm and helps this video get to more people. It helps me out more than you know. And if you want to be even more awesome, check out my band. We're called King of Cups. Listen, to, uh, check out our music videos. Watch them all the way through. Like those channels, like those videos, subscribe to those channels, and comment. Helps me out a lot more than you even realize. And if you want to be the most amazing you possibly could be, click the link down below and check out my band, King of Cups, on Spotify. Listen to Missing You. Four times through, five times through, add it to a playlist, listen to it three times through there, add it and follow us. That helps feed the Spotify algorithm and helps me out so, so much. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. I I really am appreciative that you are. So like this, uh, wait, what, what, what am I doing? I'm not there. I'm, I'm here. Share with your friends, family. And there we are. Share with your friends, family, and foes who need something interesting to watch. Man, I'm having a tough time right now. Share with your friends, family, and foes who need something interesting to watch as well. And as always, everyone, GG.